for that. He's counter punching with the jab. You got to be more alive, more alive with your right hand. Even if he throws right, you got to be more alive, more alive. Okay? That's the game plan, alive. In the eye here. Put the swelling down a little bit here. You got to put it. So we head into round three, scheduled for 12 for the vacant WBA welterweight championship. Miguel Cotto in the white with the black and red trim. Carlos Quintana in the red, blue, and white, the colors of the Puerto Rican flag. Cotto 27-0 with 22 knockouts. Quintana 23-0 with 18 KOs. trying to get under the elbows to the liver area of Quintana. I don't know if it's nerves or what, but Quintana is leaning in a lot more than, and lunging in more than he normally does. And it's really, potentially, I think, going to create a problem for him in this fight. Cotto will get to him with one of those counter punches if he keeps leaning in like that. Cotto's been actually very inactive here with his jab. Even against the lefty, it can work for him, and he's not throwing it that much. No punch, no punch, no punch. Very good. Quintana's movement giving Cotto just enough trouble so that he can't set himself and land the shots he wants. There's a good left hand by Quintana. More or less just coming straight in on Quintana, not moving to his left away from the power of Quintana. Here's Quintana going to work. Got Cotto on the ropes, able to slither off. You want to throw straight punches against Miguel Cotto, and that's what Quintana did in that sequence. Oh, beautiful left by Quintana. He's not... Quintana gaining confidence here, but there's a, a sweeping left by Bacoto that tagged Quintana on the top of the head. No punch, no punch, no punch, no punch. Nice combination upstairs by Quintana. Well, you can hit Miguel Cotto. But, ooh, that's very low. Oh, very low blow by, by Quintana. Accidental, accidental. Five minute clock, cinco minutos. He's got five minutes. You heard Mas Tiempo. Uh -huh. uh, Steve Smolder in his 60th world title fight. They're in good hands with Smolder in there. He is one of the very Listo, best baby. referees Listo. in boxing. Okay. Regular clock, regular clock, time in. Cotto says he's all right, let's continue. So that a very low blow by, by Quintana. Smoker ruled it accidental. Quintana dishing it up. Back comes Cotto now. Trying to attack to the body. And that time Quintana got off the ropes, and that's what he's supposed to do, punctuating what for Quintana has been a very good third round. Okay? Okay. The way we did it in practice. Let's go. Keep breathing. Breathe deep. Real deep. Real deep. You can't let him throw first. He's a lefty. Remember that. You can't let him throw first. Well, in uh, Quintana's fight with Joel Julio, he hurt him badly in the sixth round with a body shot. So he's committed to going to the body. But this one strays a smidge low. Oop. And, um, of course, they gave the time to uh, Cotto to get himself together. But Steve Smoger wisely did not take any points away. And... Here is Cotto pressuring Quintana, but he moves off the ropes, and you can see it very good from our camera above the ring. That's exactly the kind of movement Quintana wants. 
Quintana skilled, accurate. Tries to let his opponent take the chances and picks his spots. Round four scheduled for 12 for the WBA welterweight crown. One of the things about Quintana is he moves both ways. Look at him. He'll move right. He'll move left. He doesn't give you a lot of patterns to deal with, and it's very tough, though. Although Cotto now has him cornered, and you see he'll motor off those ropes. Not the easiest target for Cotto and uh, Quintana very quick. Cotto, of course, is relentless, and here he comes again. He will pressure you throughout. And he feels at 147 now, he can pressure through a whole fight. He felt his last couple of fights, he could only fight in spurts because he had to lose that extra weight. It was a terrible, exhausting strain for him, and he is so happy to be at this weight now. He says he will not turn out like Ricky Hatton, who went to 147 and returned. He said he'll never go back to 140. Body shot there by Cotto, or Quintana looks over to Steve Smoger and saying that may have been questionable. Straight left hand, a counter punch by Quintana. That's his big ticket punch. And Quintana trapped on the rope where he does not want to be against a uh, hard body no, puncher punch, like Cotto. No, no, no. And yet, Cotto missed a lot when he was on the ropes. And why, Steve? Because he didn't go to the body. Usually bad intentions behind everything. Oh, that's a spot oh. punch by Quintana that made Cotto uh, grimace and, and buckle just a tad. Remember the sixth round of the Julio fight? He hurt Joel Julio with a body shot to Quintana. He can throw down there. But hard to stop Cotto from coming forward. Quintana shows good power when he's confident enough to sit down on his punches. And he did it just then. He's trying it again now with the left hand. That time was partially blocked by Cotto. But he's making Cotto thinking about it. Cotto ripping some good body shots, but taking those straight left hands. Might be a little swelling around the, the right eye of Quintana. Wow, another good body shot by Quintana, but maybe a little low. Yeah, there is. There is some swelling around the right eye now of Quintana. I saw that start to develop in the last round, towards the end of the last round, but it didn't seem like enough to say anything, but now it's starting to build. And some left hooks now land into that eye from Cotto. But otherwise, it's been a pretty good round for Quintana. Now, we said earlier how the faces of Cotto's opponents usually look very different at the end of the fight. Then from the beginning. A reminder to you viewers, next year Showtime presents a first for premium cable.